Don't we need to eat animal protein for the vitamin B12? So the previous video was really just looking at meeting our protein needs. And when we're talking about protein as a nutrient, it doesn't matter if our protein comes from animal foods or plant foods. But as I said at the end of that video, protein dense foods do have different impacts on our overall health. And that's because of the other nutrients they contain. And I mentioned that the, the most uh, overall beneficial protein foods are seafood and legumes. Those are the ones that reduce risk of type two diabetes and cardiovascular disease, uh, many forms of cancer. They lower all-cause mortality, a general indicator of health and longevity used in uh, scientific studies to determine whether or not something is good or bad for us overall. And yes, one of the nutrients we get from uh, animal uh, protein foods is vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 is uh, in, used in uh, metabolism like all B vitamins. It's also incredibly important for neurological health. There's a really strong link between lower vitamin B12 levels and age-related cognitive decline in the elderly, for example. And the best sources of vitamin B12 are uh, mollusk shellfish, like clams, mussels, and oysters, red meat, especially including organ meat, and then uh, seafood in general, and then meat in general. There is a very small amount of vitamin B12 in tempeh. But yes, generally, if you eat a vegan or vegetarian diet, B12 is one you need to think about and almost certainly supplement. Zinc and iron are the other ones to at least keep an eye on. Zinc and iron are more concentrated in animal protein foods and easier to absorb. So yeah, I'm gonna talk more about the health impacts of animal protein foods versus plant protein foods in another video. In this one, I just wanted to acknowledge there are nutrients exclusive to plant foods and nutrients exclusive exclusive to animal foods. So it's easiest to uh, meet the, the nutrivore goal of getting all of the nutrients our bodies need from the foods we eat with a plant forward omnivorous approach. That being said, I said it is easiest to meet the nutrivore goal that way. And if you uh, choose a, a different uh, dietary structure, that doesn't exclude you from Nutrivore. You can still use all of the educational resources that I create to increase your nutrient intake, including identifying nutrients that might be harder for you to get because there's not very many good sources on your preferred diet. So maybe you can identify foods to eat more of like tempeh or the necessity of supplementation strategies.